Hey guys, it's Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so happy you are here. And if you are new here, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Today I have another fun and easy craft I cannot wait to share. This adorable star, you guys. Look at how cute this is. I love the way this turned out. And again, I know I sound like a broken record, but this looks like something you would see at a craft show. I love this and you guys, these are paint sticks that I got at Home Depot. They're the long 21 inch ones that I cut down to about 17 and a half inches. You can buy the paint sticks or you can even get them for free there right in the paint section. That's what I did. This is so fun and easy to make. You needed some hot glue. And then of course I love the way this turned out. I did use some stain, but of course you could paint this as well. So anyways, you guys, I cannot wait to show you how I made this. So let's get started. To begin, I grab five 21 inch paint sticks at Home Depot. I will also be using Minwax stain in the color Dark Walnut. I cut the tops off the paint sticks and ended up with each piece of wood measuring 17 and a half inches. Next, I put on some gloves and started applying the stain onto each paint stick. I applied the stain with a brush, but you could use a rag too. I applied the stain to the front and set it aside to dry, then I applied the stain to the back as well. Once the stain was almost dry, I went over each paint stick with a paper towel to rub in the stain and give it a distressed look. Next, I arranged my paint sticks to create a star. Once I was happy with how it was laid out, I began hot gluing the sticks in place. I would continue to check my placement before I would proceed with hot gluing the next stick in place. And now I have a star. Now it's time to have fun decorating it. I first like to arrange it to make sure I like the layout. I took some raffia and wrapped it together and used it as my base. Then I added some wheat sprigs and tucked them into the raffia. I got this wheat from TJ Maxx. I took a piece of homespun fabric, folded it in half, and tied twine around it in the center and then trimmed the ends. Once I liked the arrangement, I began hot gluing everything in place.
I also added a few pit berry sprigs. I made a tag with my tag maker. I got this tag maker at Hobby Lobby. You could use pre-cut tags too. I wrote on the tag and then distressed the tag with folk art wax in the color antique wax. added some twine to the tag and hot glued it under the homespun fabric. If you'd like to hang this, you could attach some twine or wire to the back of the star. And here it is all done. I love the way this turned out. Thank you so much for spending some time crafting with me today. I had so much fun sharing this craft with you and I will see you in the next video.